Welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel. You have landed in Living in Union County and today we have a cool video, right? I know we talk about the good things about New Jersey, but today we're gonna talk about the five reasons people are leaving New Jersey, right? 100% and it's a big important thing, especially if you're looking to relocate here. We're gonna start from one to five and the more we get into that number five, the worse it gets, so stay tuned. So of course, some of us know that New Jersey has one of the highest costs of living, cost of taxes, so there's no surprise that we have one of the highest cost of insurance right the average cost here for insurance is about 124 depending where you live right. if you live like in a city like elizabeth it might be a little higher i know for us it's about like 172 per car right and in cities like newark it might be like 177 around that price mm -hmm. it's what number 45 yeah number 45 and we're talking in, in particularly right. to car insurance because in many states, the average price is going to be around eighty-five dollars a month, which is a big difference. Big difference, and that's something you definitely have to start budgeting for, especially if you're moving from like even states in the center of the United States. Because if you're looking to move from New York, we're going to have a similar right, insurance right. price, but it's definitely a huge, huge thing for a lot of people relocating because they're not taking yeah. account on those higher car insurances. Like Laura said, there's higher taxes, cost of living, so it's a kind of a mixture of everything. So. And something you have to take into consideration, the younger you are, the more insurance you're going right. to pay. Between 22 to 29 is one bracket from, I think, the 30 to 45 is another bracket, and then 60 plus is another bracket. But whichever bracket you're in, you're still, you're still going to be paying way over $100 a month. And usually, like, cheaper car insurance this year is going to be, like, Geico. Right. Um, those is, that Geico is probably the, be the cheapest one you're going to find throughout the United States. And like laura said the cities are going to have more car insurance and the more suburban areas you're going to be living in it's going to be more affordable so depending where you're living in make sure you check those uh, prices out okay going to number two we're going to talk about the water system in new jersey and it's going to be mostly the tap water so we've been finding especially in the past few years that a lot of the water here haven't been making regulations and we've been seeing that there's been a lot of cases especially in the bergen county and middlesex county area of residents, even up to 500,000 residents having issues because of this, causing long-term effects. And because of that, there's been a lot of different lawsuits to these water companies. And it's a big deal because we're ranked one of the highest states with the worst water quality. And that's something that New Jersey has to fix, especially in the next few years. And like you mentioned, this, have, this has also been linked to, I guess, health issues like possible cancer. Right. Um, but New Jersey is working towards regulating these issues. So, you know, don't think that New Jersey isn't doing anything about it. However, um, because of this, residents might see an increase in prices. Not a lot, but still an increase in their bills. Right. Um, because, you know, they do have to regulate and, you know, work on those filtrations. And it's going to be expensive because they're putting a whole new filtration system throughout the state of New Jersey. Right. And, you know, some of these companies, they're not... You're going to spend a lot of money, but residents, unfortunately, are going to see the results of that. So, like Laura said, it's going to be maybe 90 cents, a dollar difference per, in your bill. But still, at least they're doing something to fix it right. because I think this is one of the bigger problems here in New Jersey, especially if you use a lot of your tap water because if you do have a filter in your tap water, right. even sometimes the filter doesn't clean the whole right. thing out. All right, so we talked about the insurance. Now we're going to get into the taxes because New Jersey was ranked once again, for having the highest um, property taxes in the nation, right. beating Connecticut, with having the average taxes, property taxes being over $9,000. Right. And that's really going to depend what part of New Jersey you can right. live in, because there's parts of New Jersey, like in Bergen County, to be more specific, the Millburn Township. Right. Property taxes there can be even up to 24000 And if you see that in a house, that's not a lie. It's really that much. And you can even find other places with even more. So that affordability factor comes down a lot because right. even if you find a good property at a good price, you're still paying usually over $10,000 in property taxes a year. And a lot of people have been getting very discouraged because of that. Because imagine paying over $1,000 a, a, a month in just property taxes is a huge, huge impact. But still, we're beating everybody by a long shot. Number two, we're beating them from by over two thousand dollars a year. And that's Connecticut, and which is number two, I think, right? I think Connecticut is it's not number two, but it's definitely in the top five, I, I believe so. But even though, like, it's it's that big increase that a lot of people are can afford, and a lot of people are leaving New Jersey for that reason. And something that I guess you can benefit from that is that New Jersey does have really good school districts, mm -hmm. and because of that, it kind of balances out a little bit. 
but you know if you're looking to move here definitely be accountable for those property taxes and making sure that the county you're going to be living in is going to be a county with some reasonable taxes right i mean if you're going to be close to the new york metropolitan area i mean that's something to expect right in union county it's it's the norm but right. you can find taxes here that are in the seven thousands right. um in the we six thousands we've seen it here it's it's also the norm it's right. not like you're it's going to be everywhere um the south there you go the you know the the less the taxes are going to be yeah so you make sure you're checking out where you're living in and you find those better taxes if you hit us up because if you're looking to make a move here we are less real estate agents in state new jersey i'm luke with this laura your relocation team here so if you're looking to make that move make sure to give us a number a call we'd love to help you guys out and if you're not ready yet that's completely fine but we're dropping videos every monday and friday so definitely stay tuned subscribe and we'd love to keep you around okay so now going to number four kind of branching off that taxes it's going to be how discouraging it is for a lot of retirees to stay in the state because you're not only paying high taxes but the state of new jersey is 13 percent higher when it comes to cost of living 31 percent higher when it comes to housing and not only that, you're also getting taxes on your on your pension and your social security. A lot of things that, you know, they're taking a lot of money from you. And you can go to maybe another state, not get your pension tax, not get your social security tax, and live a better affordable living. Not only that, you know, New Jersey does have all four seasons. So Guys, this is not for retiring. It's 100%. Nobody it. wants to retire here. And it's not only expensive, but, you know, if you are somebody older and you want to, like, kind of, be able to live that sunny life Enjoy like Florida, for life. example. You do not want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like it's like it's it's very discouraging. So for a lot of people retiring, we're seeing yeah. that people are selling their houses and moving to a state like Florida, even moving to Denver. Sunny state. Sunny states by the beach. By the beach. Be, being able to chill for the rest of their whatever whatever they want to do. So that's kind of a big thing. Unfortunately, you know, a lot of people that are selling now. If they're older they're moving to other states and we're seeing a lot of the younger generation right. come into here and kind of taking over right because at the end of the day this is a good state to start a family right this is a good state if you want your kids to have the best education because new jersey does have one of the best educations in the country but when it comes to retiring you're not retiring here. 100%. <laughs> you don't want to retire here. and if you do want to retire here there's a lot of 55 plus communities you know you can go oh, down they to have the shore. everything for you they have everything go down to the shore you can be a you know, a, 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 a beach ball, you know, you can do whatever you want, but it's definitely not inclined for them. All right. Last but not least, it's definitely going to be the traffic. We have terrible traffic here, depending on where you are in New Jersey, not, not the entire state. So the closer you are to, you know, Northern Jersey, like Jersey city, um, what else? Hoboken. Hob Hoboken. Oh God. Yes. Hoboken. You're going to experience a lot of traffic. The closer you are to New York, here in Union County, we do experience somewhat of a of traffic. Right. It's a little congested here, not as much because we don't have bigger cities. But when you go to these bigger cities, you're definitely gonna have a lot of traffic. In hindsight, it's not gonna if you're moving from New York, it's not gonna be as bad, I right. think, as New York. Maybe in Jersey City it might be a little similar. Right. But we don't experience that much traffic and they don't charge us right. for it either. hundred <laughs> percent. And we've been noticing that's a big reason why so many New Yorkers have been moving here. And that's also a reason a lot of people when they're moving to New Jersey, it's becoming a lot more congested. And we're, we're kind of seeing that like Laura Center, New Jersey City area, the intersection in Fort Lee is one of the worst um, intersections in the state when it comes to traffic. Uh, in the past few years, the speed has been reducing a lot because so many people are going through there to get into the city. Um, here in Union County, we have a high route called Route 22. We've been seeing in the past three years that's been getting super congested it's a very major depending on the time depending on the time very major kind of artery here we're going to find a lot of the bigger retail stores but we're seeing that um in elizabeth specifically here in the past few years you know at, between the peak hours of going to, to work from like eight to nine and coming back from work between four to six it's super congested there's a, there's a town here also called union and the town is not big at all but sometimes it takes you between 30 to 40 minutes to get across it because there's so much traffic and a lot of locals have been experiencing that as well because it's not only the major highways it's like the local areas as well right so it's getting like that you know um and it's in my opinion it's probably going to get worse within the next few years because we're seeing a lot of new yorkers moving to new jersey we're seeing people relocating here and that is not going to help out. I know the state of New Jersey is definitely trying to help it out with making new highways, mm -hmm. making new railroads, and hopefully it does help. And now that uh, the FIFA World Cup is coming here, they're <laughs> making a railroad from North Jersey 
to MetLife, hopefully helping a little bit more of that, con uh, of that congested. But like I said, you know, New Jersey has its negative. It does have its positives. But if you're looking to move here, you definitely need to know both, both sides of the coin. And if you are looking to move here, make sure to give us a call. You know, we can get on a Zoom call. We could talk about why you're looking to move here, exactly where you need to be at, and hopefully find your best fitting location. So make sure to give us a call. We'd love to help you guys out.